What's up everyone, it is Andrew here from Apple Insider, and we have the first beta of iOS 13.3. Yes, 13.2 has been launched, it came out right before the new AirPods uh, Pro launched, and now we're back onto the beta cycle with 13.3. So let's go ahead and talk about what has changed here, what the new features changes are uh, that you can expect. And the biggest thing that I want to talk about is performance and that RAM issue that cropped up with 13.2 that has been causing a whole bunch of problems for people. So let's go ahead and first talk about changes, then we'll get to performance. The first small change to talk about is an updated icon for Apple Watch. Now, when you look at that Apple Watch icon for the actual Apple Watch app, the digital crown has changed. So it has a gray center instead of a solid center in the middle. It used to be a black dot, now it has a gray dot. So a very small tweak there, but it looks more akin to the current generation of Apple Watches than it did before. We also have a new option inside of keyboard settings. So if you venture into settings, then general, then keyboard, down at the bottom, there's an option to disable Memoji. So if you hate those Memojis and Memoji stickers, you can just turn that off and never have to worry about them again. Bigger changes here, if you go into settings and go into screen time, there's a new option for communications. So inside of communication, uh, inside of screen time, you can limit who you talk to based on your uh, screen time and your downtime. So you can limit each of those of who you can communicate, whether you have access to everything or not, just based on your screen time limits. There does seem to be an issue if you are a Beats Solo Pro user. Basically, there is some stuff missing and your phone doesn't seem to recognize what those headphones are. So if you do use those headphones, we recommend not jumping to the beta just yet. So those are the biggest changes, the actual features and changes that we saw this time around. So let's talk about the kind of the biggest thing that I want to see fixed with 13.3, and that's the RAM or the performance issues that we saw released with 13.2. Basically, for multitasking, it's basically made these devices unusable. Every time I would switch an app, it would automatically sign me out. So if I'm in Apple Insider's publisher program inside of Safari and I switch to another app to check on something, I come back, literally within a few seconds, it had already refreshed and it kicked me out and I had to reload the pages and everything and it would lose content. It was a pain in the butt. I'm sure a lot of you know what I'm talking about. If every time you're in an app, working on something, you left, came back, that app would be killed and you would just have to redo everything that you had done when you left it off. So it really pretty much took away all multitasking capabilities from these devices. And with 13.3, I do not have a definitive answer. I'm sorry, I don't. Uh, I've been playing around with them for the past hour, trying to get a firm answer, a firm take on if performance has completely improved or not, but it seems a bit hit or miss. And I've been scouring Twitter, talking to people, and the basic thing is it looks like it has improved, but it's not entirely fixed. So I was able to open a bunch of apps, jump between them, go back, and I was not kicked out of anything. So that part is good. That seems improved. But what is not improved is locking your device. So I would lock my device, come back after a couple minutes, and then my apps were killed. Those things did not happen before. So it still seems like there are some performance issues going on. Jumping between apps now seems better, but it is not completely fixed, at least from what we can tell so far but I wanna hear what you guys think. So one, let me know if you found any other changes down below in the comments, or let me know on Twitter how performance has been for you on the first beta of 13.3. Reach out to Andrew, or at Andrew underscore OSU, and let me know your thoughts. Otherwise, we'll check you in the next video. Hey everyone, did you guys like that video? Be sure to click on that like button so we can create content that we know that you guys wanna see. And follow Apple Insider on all social media channels. If you want the best prices on any Apple gear, check out the Apple Insider price guide that is updated daily. And until next time, we'll see you later.